uh well guys good evening uh, this is kumar gupta here again so uh, this is a new video from my channel uh, i have got couple of request asking me what is the difference between uh, webrate save param and uh, webrate save param underscore ex so i thought uh, i did a little bit of research and um, uh, this is the things that i came out so i'm going to talk about them and uh, I thought this is a very good interview question as well. I'm not sure uh, somebody asked me. Somebody have asked you as a part of interview question, but uh, uh, definitely it is a question to be uh, uh, question somebody might ask you. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what are those differences. So I, I'm going to go ahead the standard uh, uh, web tools application to demonstrate this. Uh, let me create a script for you. So I'm going to take a web HTTP HTML itself. Okay, so I'm going to create the script on the same web tools application as I've told you. So I'm going to create, I'm going to record very simple scripts of uh, launching the home page and uh, uh, logging in and then finally uh, logging out so well this is my application under test so i've logged in and then finally signed off uh, i'm going to stop my recording now I know this is the value that I have to correlate. So let me let me pull up my uh, left boundary and right boundary for this. So I'll go to the response of this request in my HTML. Sorry, in my uh, snapshot view. Select the first HTTP request. Go to the response of it. And now search for that snapshot find next there you go I was able to find it so that's my left boundary and right boundary Well, that's my left boundary and that's my right boundary. So, <clears throat> guys, now, now let's talk about the difference between WebRate Save Param and WebRate Save Param underscore EX. So, uh, when I'm working with them, uh, these two are very obvious things uh, that I will be discussing now. So, when I right click and then insert new step. Okay, I'm going to use that one. So first thing you look at this one, okay, it, it is deprecated. The WebRate save param is already deprecated. So you wouldn't get too much support from them. There wouldn't be uh, any more uh, new uh, features that will be added to it. So that's what is deprecated. So obviously that will be the first difference. So however, uh, we can continue to use them uh, even though it's deprecated. So that's what we are doing now. So just double click on that. So parameter name, I'm going to call it as session ID. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just call it say session ID and left boundary, uh, whatever the left boundary that uh, we have to pick it up from here. So So that's the left boundary. And the right boundary will be that one there. OK, 
okay obviously you have other options uh, which we can explore and we can have the ordinal all and all that uh, but uh, here we are uh, discussing about only the uh, difference okay so let's ignore uh, that part now okay so as you can see here uh, carefully uh, this double quotes whenever you have the double quotes you need an escape character uh, when i have uh, selected that option and put my left boundary and right boundary uh, uh, it was not automatically putting the escape character which means that i have to uh, once this function has been inserted i have to put the escape character wherever is the double quotes okay so uh, you have the double quotes here double quotes here and double quotes here okay so you have to add so many escape characters and then there is a double quote here as well in the right boundary so you have to add the escape character so this is the first difference i have found so you have to manually en enter this escape characters after this web bridge save param has been inserted into the function okay so this is definitely the first difference now what is the second difference okay uh, 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 to demonstrate this completely so now i will use the web rate save param underscore ex okay so if you're going to use the web rate save param underscore ex i'm going to call this as the parameter name is session id with ex just that you know i'll be able to differentiate now the left boundary again i'm going to put the same left boundary okay i'm going to correlate the same value but here we are using the different correlation function so that's my left boundary and that's my right boundary okay and there are other options you know uh, which we can look at uh, just click on ok and you can see here uh, for this double course the escape characters is automatically inserted by this web rate save param underscore ex so the additional work of putting this escape character has been taken away by this web rate save param underscore ex so that's one of the major difference i found between these two functions and second thing is uh, uh, especially you have to call this as param name for whatever the parameter name that you are using you have to specifically say it as param name but here if you see here you need not have to specifically say it as a param name okay so uh, for left boundary obviously you have to specifically mention that it's a left boundary and right boundary same thing between both the functions so but however the parameter name you have to specifically call out param name over here uh, but you need not have to call it as param name specifically call out param name when we are talking about web rate save param okay so this is the second difference the first difference is uh, the escape characters are automatically inserted for ex and second thing is you have to specifically call out the param name but as an interview question if you call out these two I don't think uh, uh, you would get any any brownie points or you would be answering uh, it rightly or uh, uh, is the interviewer expecting that maybe maybe not but one of the major difference which is little hidden but it's not available for us is uh, conversion okay so when we are talking about web rate save param and let's say that the value the parameter value that you are capturing is just in case it's a html you can directly convert it over here to either url mode or uh, plain text okay so i can use this function called convert convert is equal to html just in case the value is html html to url you want to convert into url okay or you have to convert that into a plain text you have to convert that into a plain text you can use that as well uh, convert is equal to html to plain yeah i think that's what is right so you can use any of this okay uh, whether when you want to convert your uh, uh, if, if the parameter name that is been captured uh, is in HTML and you want to convert into URL or plain that is happening in the web rate save param itself there is option that is given to you uh, 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 by by this function which is web rate save param but the same the same option is not available underscore ex 
so let's say the param name uh, the pa the parameter uh, in which you are capturing this value is in html and you have to convert that into an url or plain text okay i think this is not plain it's probably text yeah i think this is text txt text so this is uh, this is not plain this is text okay so you can use any of these functions to convert your html to either url or text okay but the same option is not available here so this is one of the major difference that you have between these two things so if the interviewer has asked, asked you this question the best answer that you could give is in the web page save param you whatever the parameter value that you are capturing you can directly convert into a url or a plain text Uh, right away using that function, but if you are using that underscore ex, it is not possible. So it is not possible. So what you could use is on the top of it, you have to use another function called web. Convert param. Okay, and then the value that you need to convert. So you have. your value that you want to convert is over here in this parameter okay then you give source encoding target encoding is equal to let's say you want to convert that into a url so give it as url and uh, obviously you have to use last and that's about it so now if you have captured value you want to convert that into a url mode or a text mode so on the top of this web page save param underscore ex you have to use this web convert param okay so in here you would not have to do that but because they have given the option in the web page save param itself so this is one of the major difference between those two but other differences i have already discussed one is uh, uh, the escape character will be automatically inserted uh, by the view gen itself second thing is uh, you have to specifically call out uh, by by name param name to mention your parameter name so these are the three differences i found and uh, good luck guys um, uh, continue watching my video uh, do remember that this video is brought to you by isha uh, software solutions Uh, uh you can uh, get more of my details at the bottom uh, in the youtube uh, in the in the summary you could get my phone number and email address just in case you want to touch base with me for anything for any of the trainings or whatever thank you guys enjoy